Terrence Crawford, man, is he a generational talent? Is he is he a once in a lifetime boxer? Um, you've seen phenomenal fighters come and go and retire, like Manny Pacquiao moved up weight classes. Was it six six divisional, seven divisional champion? Um, the thing is with Pacquiao, he has lost fights, which doesn't really make him uh, less of a legend. But just saying, he's he's lost fights. He's been knocked out before, but he's still a great. Terrence Crawford, uh, as of now, he has never lost a fight in the pros. He seems to be moving up every time he moves up in weight. He gets stronger. So the question is, you know, when it comes to uh, 154, 160, 168, and things like that, would Crawford be one of these, you know, once in a lifetime boxers that? He moves up and he gets stronger. His power stays with him, his, you know, his entire career. No matter what weight class, he still has his punching power. And it's more devastating as he moves up. You know, it, it seems like it's getting more devastating as he's moving up. He's, he's done it from 135, 140, 147. You know, so he's knocked out everybody at 147. Can, if he does the same thing at 154, that's amazing. And then if he does the same thing at 160, if he went there, 168, it would be incredible. You know, so do you guys think Terrence Crawford is a generational talent, man? I think he is. You know, now, you know, the Canelo Alvarez thing, you know, he entertained it. He talked about it. But, you know, a lot of people don't think he could pull something like that off. Now, a generational talent, somebody with, with a high skill set can definitely pull that off. No matter the weight class, if he's durable enough, he can take a punch from Canelo. You know, because he's a, not because Canelo has all this crazy punching power, because Canelo is the bigger man, and you know, naturally, um, he's gonna hit harder. You know, so you know, sparring and boxing is different in in a sense. You know, and uh, if if Terence Crawford was to go up to one sixty eight. And smoke Canelo and be the first to knock him out. That would be amazing because no one's ever knocked him out. And there's a first time for everything. You know, it is. It's the first time ever that Canelo has never been knocked out. Terrence Crawford has never been knocked out. He could also get knocked out. But if Bud did it to Canelo, it would be in in the world of boxing, it'd be extraordinary. And it, it, it'll take a generational talent to pull off something like that. And I think Terrence Crawford, if anybody can do it, it probably would be him, you know. Because if you look at boxing right now, man, um, there's not many, I don't care what weight class, that has the skill set of Terrence Crawford. I'll say some of the closest dudes that can that has the skill set would be Bevel, uh, Shakur Stevenson, and probably... Uh, you know, Tyson Fury, man. That's it. I think those are the only dudes. And I would probably say Monster and New Way. Uh, everybody else, no, not at all. Not even close. Just my opinion. You know, so if if Crawford is as good as we think he is, and he did actually fight Canelo and beat him, would that make him, you know, not just beat him on the cards, knock him out and beat him? And that would mean his power transitioned his entire career. And no boxer has ever has ever has ever done that. You know, are we looking at the Messiah of boxing himself, Terrence Crawford? We'll just have to find out, right? Oh, we we'll, we may never know. We'll never know if he doesn't fight at that higher weight class, and that's why he's aiming, I guess, to challenge himself, right? But what y'all think? Drop a comment. Let me know. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Catch y'all later.